Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. And hello, welcome on a Saturday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is, whatever day it is. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having an outstanding weekend so far. But glad to see you. Glad everybody could show up. Hopefully, hopefully we're gonna have we're 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 gonna have a good day in Mac Warrior. Uh, I I've been struggling a little bit, but uh, we will we will hopefully do better than last time and not get blown up quite so many times. But uh, yeah, again, good to see. You. Glad to see everybody showing up today. We got a lot of folks in chat today. A lot of folks that uh, I haven't seen in a couple of streams. So glad to see you. I'm not gonna try to go through all all of the list this time because man, you guys are blowing up the chat today. But uh, I do, of course, have to start out the stream by thanking Sierra for gifting five subs to the channel. That is five more members of the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. Thank you so much, Sierra, for the generosity and for the massive chicken, as always. And as well, we have Bolo rolling in for five months at Holy Shit Tier 3. You guys, show Bolo some love. For that, Tier 3, again, insane generosity. That is a massive commitment to the channel. Five months, says it's been five months. Do you know where your rocks are? Uh, well, depends on what you mean by rocks. Um, if you're talking about those kind of rocks, I lack the required equipment. But if you're talking about the other kind of rocks, I would say I know that they're on whatever planet you last got done dropping them on. Uh, it has been a little while, but uh, don't think I forget. Don't think I forget. But again, Bolo, thank you so much for the five months at Tier 3. Good lord. Again, you guys are too good to me. Too good to me. But thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thanks for supporting me and the channel and, of course, the community. Um, so, yeah, again, today we're going to be playing some MechWarrior 5. We have uh, the ongoing campaign, for those of you that don't know uh, or missed the other streams that we did last week. Uh, this is, in fact, my first play through the game. We are doing a 100% vanilla run through this time around, uh, just so that I can familiarize myself with the game, how it plays, how the mechanics work, and all that stuff. Uh, but of course, we will we will start diving down the rabbit hole of modding at some point. I just want to make sure that I understand the game before we start doing that. So, uh, don't you worry, your pretty little heads. We will we will definitely. We will do some of the crazy stuff. Sadly, the Mech Bay Heresy and other stuff is a little bit limited in the base game version, but we'll do what we can. We, I, I'll, I'll try to do what we can. We'll see. Uh, but one more time, again, thank you guys for showing up on this Saturday. Uh, hopefully you're having a great weekend, and if you aren't, I hope it will be just a little bit better now that you guys are here. But with all that said, what say we get over to the game? Oh yeah, you're right, troubleshooter. So for those of you that don't know, in case you're not, if you're not in the know on uh, Mech Warrior news, Mech Warrior Five news, uh, a new DLC was just recently announced, and uh, it is, I apparently it is a Solaris centered um, DLC featuring the one and only Duncan Fisher, otherwise known by his actual name, George Ludo. Um, again, if you, if you spend any time with the Black Pants Legion or over on Texas channel, then you, you definitely know who Duncan Fisher is. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to go, if for no other reason than to see what kind of goofy ass lines they come up for him to read out in the DLC. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. We'll have to see how it goes, but, uh, I got a feeling it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Uh, but let's see. So yeah, I need to I need to get the sound going as I always do. Uh, at least I've remembered this time. There we go. Uh, and you guys are getting good levels. I think we're good. I think we are good. All right. So we were taking our campaign. So I'm gonna just go ahead and continue from. From last we left off, again, we're in the early part of the campaign where the game just sort of expects us to build our reputation. And so that's what we've spent the last couple of streams doing. Again, we're sitting at about 36 million C-bills, which 
that's, that's one thing I wanted to talk about for those of you that maybe are not as familiar with Mech Warrior um, compared to, say, Battletech. Like in Battletech, especially in BTA, and especially with the with the masochistic settings that I had in the campaign that we were running before, um, money was hard to come by. And so it may be surprising that we have 36, almost 37 million C bills, but this is actually kind of typical. Um, in in BTA, I like to suffer because I know the game well, and I like to give myself a challenge. And if you guys remember the campaign at all, uh, there were many a stream, especially at the beginning of the campaign, where we were barely hovering around the one or two million C bill mark. So. Uh, it's good to have some some liquid funds to actually be able to bet to buy, you know, mechs and weapons and and have that freedom. So it's it's taken some getting used to. I I've got to get out of the penny pinching mentality from the BTA campaign. Uh, but at any rate, we still need to increase our reputation according to the campaign objective. Sadly, there are no more missions left on this planet, so uh, we're gonna need to find some more. And I was thinking about potentially trying to find... Oh, what do we got here? Rare mechs on the market? What do you think, Chad? Is it worth going to check these out? See if they're they're good? I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? But I've been thinking about trying to find a, like a, a more difficult set of planets that we can go to. Because uh, the missions we've been doing are... I'm not going to say they're easy, because we there were definitely a few that we failed on, but... I'm beginning to lose the challenge on the missions that we've been doing, so... Oh yeah, track tension. Mech Warrior definitely predates Mech Warrior Online. Uh, unless... yeah. So Erst has got the right of it. Um, Mech Warrior as a franchise... predates Mech Warrior Online by quite a bit, but... Uh, but yeah, five specifically came out after. Oh, look at that. A griffin in perfect condition. Um, LRM5 and some lasers. And they want, you know, for four and a half million, that's not that bad, actually. Hmm. An AFP rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Glad to see you, AFP. Glad you could join us. Hopefully you'll be sticking around to enjoy some Mech Warrior 5. Uh, currently debating on uh, whether we should buy this this perfect condition, this mint condition Griffin. And Hell's Razor as well. Hell's Razor, welcome to the stream as well on a Saturday yeah. again. Glad to see you guys. Hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far. And Urs smacking Hell's Razor in the face with the gifts of Urs, thank you so much for the massive generosity and the massive chicken, as always. And Hell's Razor, welcome back to the cult of bad tactical decisions. Glad to have you once again. As always, enjoy the Ecto Cooler. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Let's let's buy this puppy. Let's buy it. And then I guess we head to the mech bay and have a look. Because we have the Enforcer, we have fire starters, of course, and then we have the Centurion. So maybe we drop the Enforcer out of the lineup, put in the Griffin instead. We'll have to see what we can do in terms of weapon systems on this thing. Um, I mean, it's definitely a laser boat. The only problem with the Griffin is... It's skewed very heavily towards one arm and one torso location. So that, that can definitely be an issue. Now, Dark Sarah, it's it's not that I have stock in Ecto Cooler, it's just uh it's just that when we were on one of the planets very early in our campaign in BTA, um, I managed to find a good deal on like a 45 year supply of the powder. And uh, we've we've kind of just been working our way through it ever since. You know, I'm I'm a sucker for a good deal, and it was kind of hard to pass up. I mean, you know, it's more it's more than I could ever reasonably drink in my lifetime. So I figured I would 
I figured I would share the love, so to speak. It's about the only perk that you guys get as members of the company, other than the paycheck, so, you know. Uh, but let's see. Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. I mean, we could just go with a default config for now. Although, let's see. So the weight on the LRM5 is two tons. Damn it. Why? Why are you this way? Because these are mediums. Son of a bitch. I want... I want melee. Damn it. But I guess, I guess we'll stick with the stack configuration for now. Um, there was another, another planet. So we'll head over there real quick and check out the rare mech there as well. Maybe we'll find another good deal. Because again, uh, a 100% griffin for four and a half million sea bills is a damn good deal. Hello, and a Wolverine. Again, not gonna turn my nose up at a Wolverine, that's for damn sure. And it's the 6M variant, which is, is very dependable. I mean, it's basically just another Griffin. Uh, but it, I feel like, at least on the tabletop, the Wolverine's a little more durable. I don't know about in Mech Warrior, though. Hmm. Again, another four to half million C. I mean, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. And then we can swap these guys out. That may put us over tonnage on some missions, though. We'll have to see. Uh, but whoever suggested we put SRMs in the Griffin, I think you're probably right on that. I wish she would stay on detail setting. Uh, let's see. What kind of SRMs do we have? Well, actually, we don't have that many options. Um, I guess we'll put in this guy, the Streak. Or, I'm sorry, they call them Stream in this game. Oh no, we have, we have some regular ones. We'll go with that. There we go. Uh, we'll need to drop the LRM ammo and stick in a ton of SRM ammo instead. I'm buying these off the market because it turns out I was an idiot the whole time. Um, in case you were confused. And, I mean, really, we could, we could, man, let's just drop some jump jets here. Oh, are they not the same? Well, how about that? Yeah, it's a lot of heat sinks, but there's also a lot of lasers, so... And the Griffin doesn't have very good cooling by default, so you make up for it with the heat sinks. Again, I don't know how much of that is actually simulated in Mech Warrior 5, though that's that's the thing. And Dizzy Buttons rolling into the chat as well on a Saturday. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Thanks for joining us. As always, hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far. Um, let's see. What can we do with half a ton? Not much, I'd imagine. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we just put the jump jet back in here. To eat up the weight. Well, no, we gotta, we gotta max armor. Because we always gotta max armor. Those are the rules. You know the rules, chat. And so do I. Yeah, we'll just drop the jump jets entirely. There we go. There we go. Now we got a heavy boy. Kind of disappointed in how long that's going to take. Um, the Wolverine should not... Oh, no, it does have jump jets, too. Okay, well... Fuck you, too. And, uh, I think that's good on armor. Alright. Now. Now that we've spent almost 10 million sea bills on mechs. Oh, well, good to hear, Dizzy Buttons. Getting back from your friend's kid's first birthday party. Well, those... The, the first couple of birthdays are always pretty important for kids. 
in my opinion at least. Gotta show them a good time so that they appreciate those those days. Um, let me see. We got, what, three missions over here and a multi-mission contract. We got an infiltration. We got a raid. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go for the three planets. Or the three mission planet. Unless, well, we got a... We got another yeah. mercenary company down here, so I think we'll do that instead. And you guys are going ham already. Let's see, we got Erst gifted a sub to Dizzy Buttons. And then gifted another sub to Psy Mage back to back. Erst, once again, thank you so much for the generosity. You guys do not have to do that. But I do appreciate the support. And uh, Dizzy Buttons and Psy Mage, first of all, welcome back to the stream, as always. And of course, welcome back to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. Where, again, I'm sure we will be making at least a few today before the day is over. All right, let's let's head out to this system with the missions, and uh, we will we will spank some bad guys. I guess that's fair, Sai Mage. You're you're not wrong. I I would like to think though that the first couple of birthdays still have a formative a formative impact on young kids. They may not remember it, but. I think it's still, you know, again, I'm a firm believer that, that kids learn at least some of what they're going to be and who they're going to be um, long before they actually develop, like, a sense of self. But anyway. Oh, no, these are, these are very low difficulty. This is disappointing. Well, we're already here. Screw it. Let's just, let's get into it. Probably wasn't worth it to come out here, but uh, we might as well. We might as well. Oh, and I forgot to uh, I forgot to repair the fire starter because it turns out I'm an idiot. So we'll do that, and then uh, we will snuck in these new mechs that we just put on. Although I don't know. Yeah, I was afraid of that. We're not because it's a lower difficulty area. We're not gonna have the. Uh, we're not gonna have the tonnage for that. So maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe we just put in a Jenner. Even that's too much. Good lord. All right, no mediums, no heavies then. Nah, that's entirely on me, Dark Sarah. I'm the one that has to tell them to fix stuff, and I keep forgetting to do that. God damn, what? Might as well just put a giant sign up that says no fun allowed. Jesus. I guess I'll go ahead and have all of these get repaired in the meantime. Yeah, it's gonna take us seven days to get everything ready. Good gravy. Alright, now let's get into this. Again, I'm, I'm kind of committing to the bit here. We're not doing so great in terms of where we are on this mission, but... Or these missions. But we're gonna make it work. We're here, we might as well. Oh, as always, Rex, I've told you before, you don't have to apologize for lurking. If that's how you choose to spend your time with us, then I appreciate that time all the same. So enjoy your lurk and whatever it is that you're doing. Mercenary Lance, I have clear visual on your approach. Comms are full sync. Welcome aboard. Nothing on Skulks at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. Well, of course they have. This is a war zone. That's how that works, Rihanna. Good lord. There's always enemies in the area. Speaking of, there's a few over there. Let's go get them. Yeah. 
And Erst gifted another sub, this time to Rex in a clown car. Erst, once again, thank you for yet another gifted sub. And the insane generosity that that entails. And Rex, welcome back to the cult of bad tactical decisions as well. Glad to have you back. I assume at this point you already know where the Kool-Aid is, so I'll leave you to it. Oh, you're gonna bring- you're gonna bring some frickin' locusts over here? Stab it. Stab it. Come back here. The thing that tripped the perimeter alarm are mechs, you donkey. Come here, you. Come here, you. I'm sorry. What? 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 Man, that- this guy just juked the hell out of me. Broke my goddamn ankles on that one. Good lord. Get burned, loser. Alright, there we go. That's one down. Yeah, you know, you guys always say that, and then... you don't. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, we got our first mech, and it's a jab. At least I think that's the first mech. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything else around. Again, I expect these... these are going to be very easy missions. This is like a difficulty 8 or 9 planet, so not exactly going to be giving us a run for our money on this one. Oh wow, we got to go the long way around for this guy. I'm going to let uh, I'm going to let the rest of the lands handle that cuz I got a feeling they're going to spawn more enemies close to the base. And uh, I don't want to be that far away when when the next wave of enemies spawn. I'm gonna hope that three mechs can take care of a jab. Then again, I watched two of our people get taken out by a single panther, so, you know, I'm not gonna give our people too much credit. Yeah? Tango destroyed. And Sierra gifting a sub to Hi, I'm Asuka, and Asuka, welcome back to the stream. Glad to see you. Glad you could join us again, and Sierra, thank you so much for the generosity as well. You guys are going ham with the subs today. Thank you so much for the support. And Asuka, welcome to the cult of bad tactical decisions. Glad to have you as always. Alright, what do we got here? We got a locust and a fire starter. So you guys take care of the locust, and I'll deal with the Bernie boy. Come here, you punk ass. Where you going? Where you going? I think you're not very good at this whole setting stuff on fire thing, my man. And man, again, you guys are going crazy with the gift sums. This time, Litzkrieg13 gifting a sum to Tapper2K. Litzkrieg, as well, thank you so much for the generosity and showing support for me, the stream, and this community. And Tapper2K, welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions where we make all the worst decisions on purpose and we drink our ecto cooler and Irish coffee while we do it. Copy. We on it sir. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize I was walking into an explosion. 
Yeah. We'll get two more enemies to kill. Oh my good lord. And Bolo with the insane 10 gifted subs. Bolo, holy I shit. I know you haven't made many streams lately, but good lord. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Holy shit, my man. Uh, again, thank you. I, I cannot express with words my my appreciation for the generosity. Again, you guys are too good to me. You're too good to me. So if you got a if you got a sub from any of these insanely insanely generous folks, be sure to thank them. Bolo especially. Thank you for the ten gifted subs, man. Thank you so much. Oh, let's see. We got. Oh, a J. Edgar, a J. Edgar. And Sierra, I see you. Hydration incoming. I'm gonna do this one-handed while I'm running around a mountain. Definitely gotta make sure you hydrate, especially if you are drinking as much coffee as I've been drinking the last couple of days. How the hell do I get to this guy? Do I have to go all the way around the back? Yep, yeah, looks like it. It looks like it. What? Are you, like, stuck in the mountain or something? What? What is... Oh, no. I mean, you are kind of stuck, but... Congratulations, Commander. These people owe their lives to you. I mean, they, they owe me a little bit more than that. Mostly money. Yeah, they, you could damn right, Sierra. Always keep one hand on the stick. I learned that in the back alleys of, uh, of Singapore. Wait, what? Hey, right, why? Let's see what we got. Only nine picks. That is, that is very disappointing. Uh, I guess I'll take another Locust. Again, we, we always find ourselves in situations where we need to give Locusts for Canteen emissions. You're right. You're right. I forgot. We don't talk about Singapore. My bad. And let's see. Targeted kill. What's the difference between targeted kill and assassination? I mean, just based on description, I would assume they're the same thing. Basically. But again, we're gonna make it hot, because that's what we do. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility will be compromised out there. Um... Once again, Rihanna, thank you for the basic description of how weather works. I'm glad we could have this talk. Yeah. You know, Grimbler, you're you're not wrong. I, I think we head to a different planet, because again, we're we're not gonna get much in the way of payout on this. Oh, well, never mind. I already accepted the mission. Well shit. Alright, we gotta do this one. But we'll we will we will go to another planet after this one. Cause uh Cause this planet is kinda butt cheeks. I mean I say that, and the Vulcan lost a leg on the last mission. Alright, Psy Mage, we're glad to have you, even if it was just for a little bit. Once again, glad you could join us. Hopefully you'll have a decent day at work. I, again, I never I never say have a good day at work because nobody likes working for a living. But hopefully it'll be a decent day and not too much trouble for you. Oh, look at this. We got a heavy VTOL today. Oh no, never mind. That's That's just a standard warrior. It just looked a little bigger than usual. Still goes down just fine to machine guns. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. I'm sorry. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Ah, you're good. Just just stay in the pillow fort, Jaeger. Stay in the pillow fort. It's all good. Take them out before more hostiles converge on your position. And Erst once again with yet another gift sub, this time for Brofisticus. Brofisticus! 
Glad to see you, first of all. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday stream. And welcome back to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. And on that note, of course, Erst, once again, thank you for that generosity. I don't know why you guys have chosen to be so generous today, but I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you guys for, for keeping stream alive and showing that support. You, you do not have to do it, but I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. It does mean a lot. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Alright, now where is this? There's the donkey. In an enforcer, of all things. Well, I hope it's fireproof. I say while well, knowing full well that it's not. Oh, a dropship. They're bringing in some reinforcements. Let's go get them, boys. Let's go get them. Taking some heavy hits, though. Even with reinforcements on our side. Oh, that's artillery. Okay, well, that changes things. That changes things a little bit. Come here, you little donkey. Would you stop that? You know what? Why? Why? Why am I over here getting myself blown up to kill locusts? We just need to get the fuck out of here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Form up. Form up. I'm not gonna get us blown up over a matter of a couple of light mechs. And look at you guys. With, with the insane generosity. Going crazy. So early in the stream. With a level 3 hype train. Again. You, you guys are... You guys are insane. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I haven't played this game much yet, but, uh, I, I do not like the artillery, that's for damn sure. Uh, let's see, we got just enough to grab a Enforcer, which I guess we'll grab that and sell it. And then, might as well grab an AC too. Alright, so first of all, let's, let's get the max repaired, as you do. Uh, this guy we're gonna sell... Uh, let's go ahead and sell one of these pan- actually, you know what? Let's sell two of these panthers. And, I mean, do we really need two centurions? Because I feel like the answer is no. I do like a centurion, though. And Capsty rolling into the chat on a Saturday and resubscribing for a third month. Says it's 5 a.m., 24 and a half degree C with 80% humidity in Pilbara. At least the boss is streaming. Well, yeah, that does kind of sound a little bit miserable. Um, I don't know if it helps, but since misery loves company, I live in Texas and the humidity here is always about a thousand percent and it's been unseasonably warm. So I, I'm, I'm not, it's not quite that bad here, but I'm right there with you. Hopefully, hopefully you've got a good fan or an air conditioner to keep you comfortable. But again, thank you so much for the three months of support, Capsty. We're glad to have you back. And uh, hopefully you will do better with the weather. And that's a hell of a thing to be dealing with at 5 a.m. All right, let's get out of here, Chad. Let's let's find a better. Let's f well, I hesitate to say better. Let's find a more lucrative planet. Um, 
Does it not tell you the difficulty of a planet? Am I missing something here? Or do we have to, like, go to a planet before we find out the difficulty? Hmm. Oh, recommended rep is difficulty. Yes, yeah, so I guess we do have to actually go to a planet. Or may- oh, I guess it only shows up in the conflict zones. Um, looks like six is about as high as it's going to get, at least for right now. Well, I guess we'll go for the difficulty six for the time being and uh, hopefully find something a little bit better. Uh, House Davian, Beecher, that's gonna take, oh my, that's half a million sea bills, and we're out of range, apparently. So is that, is it out of range because it just won't let us go there yet, or is it out of range because we have to do a certain number of jumps? I guess this, no, that's out of range too. This one's not. And we got a high reward quest times too. All right. Let's do it. Again, half a million sea bills. That's a little rough. That's okay. That's okay. I say it's a small price to pay for hopefully more lucrative missions. All right, so all of our mechs are repaired. Now we just need to find a planet that has missions. Now this one said it had a high reward quest. I guess we view the transmissions. Oh, we get some uh, we get some good stuff, and then we have Crimson Crusade. I guess this is uh, some DLC content. Over the past few years, reports of a fast-growing group of fanatics has been spreading and resources are being stolen from local industrial and agricultural stations to fuel their efforts. The group calls themselves the Crimson Inclination. Man, that's, that is like the most milk toast rebel movement name I've ever heard of. Might as well just call yourself the Angry Peasants. Like, it, it, it's such a meaningless name. And follow a charismatic leader that goes by the alias High Lord Franson. The regional warlords had viewed the theft of industrial and agricultural materials by the group as nothing more than a minor nuisance. But then, three months ago, High Lord Franson and his followers mobilized in force utilizing a significant number of previously unknown battle mech forces to capture the capital city and surrounding territory of Naha, and have been publicly attempting to declare Naha an independent system no longer recognizing Draconis Combine rule. This is a delusion the dragon will never stand for. Okay, so I get it. Um, we, we know that Draconis don't like any kind of rebellion or dissent amongst the ranks. And uh, so we get to go play police state. I mean, as long as the money's good. Wait, I accepted the thing. Why... What? Chad, I'm confused. Go to operations. Okay. What? An Is it? Oh. Good call, good call, good call. All right. Oh. Oh my. They're sending us way out here.
All right, well, maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Although, it's good that you mentioned that, because I feel like this is probably our, uh, the mission that we should have been doing to progress the campaign. So maybe I should do that instead. But I don't. I guess it's over here? Well, there we go. Because they're not, they're not letting us do the missions here. It says high reward quest, but I'm guessing that's just for, um, I'm guessing that's for helping one of the factions. Which I don't really want to do right now. Alright, well let's, let's, oh. Let's go to the next campaign mission, I guess. I was wondering about that because I was like, man, we've been increasing our reputation for a long time and it's not really doing anything, so. Good to know it was just me being dumb and not the game. Also, 69 days, which is nice. That's a nice number of days. All right. Well, I guess we can check the uh, the market while we're here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! A champion. Man, I haven't seen a champion in a while. Equipment. Nothing really standing out to me here. All right. Let's get into a contract. Target of opportunity, I would assume, is the one that we need to do. It says difficulty 25. Um, I feel like we're probably going to get the shit kicked out of us. I, I don't know. I mean, if our Merc rating is only 7 and we're taking on a 25 mission, may maybe we should have uh, continued to improve. But they're only giving us a tonnage limit of 200. That's really strange. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Worst case scenario, we die horribly. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't be the first time. Now, we're not going to do sea bills. We're going to do salvage because you always take max salvage. The nasty weather means always take max salvage. Will be limited out there and have adverse effects on your sensors. Once again, Rihanna, I appreciate you explaining how limited visibility works. Uh, well, you know what? Let's let's just go. Let's go ham. Let's go ham. If they're going to give us 200 tons to play with, then it would be rude of us not to take as much tonnage as we can fit on the dropship. All right, let's make it hot yet. Literally, in this case, because as usual, I'm going to be running the fire starter. You know how I do. Look at the buttons. Look at the buttons. So, by the way, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's, it's not super popular right now. But I saw on the Twitter machine, uh, there's somebody who's working on a very tactile kind of Almost a uh, Microsoft Flight Sim mech game that you play in VR where you like hit all the buttons and flip the switches and all that stuff. And like, if he's still working on it, but it really, if that game comes out and it's even half as good as it looked in the preview footage that he was doing, I, I might have to get a VR rig in the future, chat. I'm just saying. You say the Irby cockpit is great, but I have only one question. And you know what I'm going to say based on your answer. Does the cockpit have fuzzy dice? 
Whoa! Well, there's the welcoming party. Target is done. But speaking of contact, that is, in fact, a lot of contact. Come here, you. No, y'all don't worry about the locust. The locust is a waste of time. Come here. Come here. Guys, if it's not too much trouble, maybe you should shoot back. Whoops, wrong target. Good old Shred. Let's, let's, I, I need to clean some of this up. These guys are going ham. Alright, there we go. Clear out some of these turrets. So we can focus on the real enemies here. Get burned, donkey. Did he, did he, did he just ram me? I think that locust just rammed me. Screw you, nerd. Although we are taking a lot of, uh, a lot of torso damage here. Well done, Commander. Now, let's see if what we did here today actually worked. Meet me at the extraction point. I'm already inbound. Enemy eliminated. We're always going to kill the extra stuff, chat. Alright, there we go. Now. Uh, okay, extraction is in that direction. Let's not do the dumb thing and get bogged down. I saw who who was it? Somebody mentioned Steel Battalion. Yeah, Swift Draw mentioning Swift or Steel Battalion. That was uh I believe that was an Xbox game if I remember right. And it was like it was the one or maybe it was a PlayStation game and it came with like the giant ass control thing. And like the whole thing cost a couple hundred dollars if I remember right. It was really expensive, but I wanted that so bad. And, uh, it made me really sad that, like, it was a peripheral design specifically for the game. And then they, I think they made it, I think they made one sequel. Uh, it might have been on Wii as well. They might have, uh, they might have ported it to the Wii. But it made me sad that, like, here was this peripheral that they designed, and then nobody ever tried to develop for it. And I guess it makes sense, because it was a peripheral design for a specific game, but you would think, like, you could have done some really cool stuff with that if you if you put in the effort. Alright, there we go. Target of opportunity is done. We got some extra money and some extra rep. Good shit. Let's uh let's get the repairs done as you do. We also got ourselves a treb. I don't know if we're gonna use it. Um, I think I'll just leave it for now. Oh, we need to we need to speak to Riata. 
Man, that, that mouse sensitivity. Look at that is insane. Imagine if, like, you would get... I would vomit if I could spin that fast. All right, Rihanna, what do you got for me? My work for House Marek is not quite finished. I've been informed that House Liao have retaliated because of our actions against the local governor by launching several military raids on Marek border outposts. The good news? It means another payday for us. House Marek wants us to hit back by destroying a military logistics center belonging to Liao. They're hoping to hobble Liao's military capabilities in the border region and, in doing so, convince them to back down and allow the refugees to return home. The thing I find extraordinary is that House Marek is not going after Black Inferno. It was their egregious actions inside Marek's What do you Marek think all these little, started this whole thing. like the red Instead, and blue symbols and all this stuff all floating all over here? Like, sorry, Rihanna, I'm a little distracted. You've got all guess, these, like, flashing lights and sounds here on the board. Is behind it's, uh... Actions. And that whoever it is, it's very using that power to shield these bastards. As to it's it's kind of hypnotizing. Be, or what their end game is, I don't know. Still too many questions and not enough answers. For now, we have a contract to fulfill. I've prepared the mission briefing. Once you sign off on the op and get us where we need to go, we can launch. Copy that. Look at it. Look at all the lights. Look at all the lights. Also, Rihanna, just for the record, um. Not to, oh, you know, be rude or anything, but in the future, if the contract is go to a place and blow stuff up, you can just say that. You don't have to, like, tell me all about all the things that are happening and so-and-so did such-and-such and, such and all, you know, just just say, hey, we're going to go blow some stuff up. Um, you know, that's all you got to say. I'm, I'm down for it. Let's do it. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I guess... Why are, why are you making me go back and re Oh. Alright. Well, we don't have the next mission yet, apparently. That's okay. We got some contracts on this planet, so, uh... Might as well. I'll lay that first, first mission for Steiner. Let's see. Look, you say that, Urs, but let's be honest. Rihanna's the one doing it. I, I'm not running shit in this company, alright? I don't know what we're doing. They're just like, hey, we need to go to this place. And I'm like, alright. And then she says, hey, you need to blow this up. And I'm like, alright. And then she's like, hey, these people said you part your hair funny. And I'm like, okay, let's go kill them. Like, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. And she's the one telling me what to do. And I'm just like giving it a thumbs up. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool, whatever. We're reading heavy weather warnings out there, Commander. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I have any idea what's going on. I just like I want to know what these buttons do anytime I see buttons I'm just like what do they do I have to know what they do yeah I feel like it's a very would you kindly situation Jaeger oh oh we got oh no it's one of these missions where there's like a bunch of stuff in multiple directions all right well Looks like we're on Stinky Planet again. Another Sulfur Planet. Unfortunate for anybody who's got the windows open. Uh, 
Ah, that's what it is, Sierra. That's right. It's it's like multiple Elgato setups. Yep, yep, you're right. With all the goofy sound effects and like the voice synthesizers. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I mean, everybody streams these days. Man, all this stuff is blowing up. I don't even know what the hell's going on. We gotta be. Blackjack? Alright. That works. I'm gonna take care of this VTOL though. Come on. There we go. Get shit on you, donkey. All right. Now let's get stuck in. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. It's burning in time. All right, here we go. Let's let's pick up our hidden stuff. Apparently, this is hidden. It's not hidden very well, but apparently, it's hidden. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, see, Pistol. Pistol has the right of it. Believe it or not, Trongnor and Zorg are, well, they're not directly related, but they're, they're like sworn brothers, I think. Something to that effect. Uh, drone, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, there is melee in the game now. I don't know if it was in by default. Target is done. Uh, let's see. I mean, it, they're both roughly the same distance away, so I guess it, Oh, wait. I do have gym jets, but none of my other guys do, so maybe maybe we should find a, a different way around. Yeah, again, Swift Draw, the, the traditional wisdom is that Mech Warrior 5 was not was not I, I mean it was a Mech Warrior game, but it wasn't a very good Mech Warrior game at the time of release. And it has it's definitely been improved by DLCs, but of course it's also been improved by mods. And Earth gifting yet another sub, this time to Drone 0666. Erst again, thank you for the massive generosity and the massive chicken. And Drone, welcome to the cult of bad tactical decisions. Where of course we have only the one flavor of Kool-Aid and it is Ecto Cooler. Or I guess I should say, welcome back to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions. If I'm not mistaken, you have been with us previously. I, I might be remembering wrong. I'm sorry. It's, don't get me wrong. Like, I want to remember everybody, but there are so many people in the community now that I, like, some of you guys, I don't remember if you've been subbed before or not. All right, let's burn down this satellite dish. Oh, that wasn't- that wasn't actually a target. Whoops. I mean, what better way to destroy buildings than a flamethrower, right? And then we get just random turrets over here. Alright, and then... I guess we move on to the next objective. Again, kind of weird. We're not we're not seeing nearly as much uh I'm not seeing nearly as much resistance as I thought we would. 
Also, I'm, I'm only just now realizing that I've basically left my entire lance behind. Copy. We on it, sir. Oh, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna get yours. I don't know if you're having a brain for it or what, but, uh... No, 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 Rihanna. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm trying to squash a cicada. Somehow, this thing is faster than me. Oh, and then we're actually running into multiple enemies now. Look at that. Well, here's all the resistance I was just complaining about. Oh, we're gonna burn it down. Well, I'm gonna burn it down. Ow. I don't know why the AI decides, like, whenever it's getting hit, that the first thing it should do is just jump. I feel like that's that's not a great way to escape. Hi, there we go. We we have reduced the resistance in this area. By the way, yeah, this is disappointing. I was hoping, like. The machine guns just happen to be hidden in the perfect way that you can't see them. But never forget, this is the perky fire starter. Well, you're not wrong, Pistol. It's, it is technically old Halo tactics, but really, I'd argue it's just old FPS tactics. Like, in every old FPS, that was, that was the thing. When you're getting shot at, just start jumping. That was an unreal thing. That was a... That was a quake thing. Of course, nowadays, it's, it's all about the drop shot. It's all about the somehow go from sprinting to prone with no loss of accuracy in 0.3 seconds. And if you've played any Rainbow Six Siege, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The bullshit of the drop shot. My kill. Yeah, you were killed. Is it treasure? I thought it was the objective. You're confusing me, Rihanna. Don't you tempt me, drone. Don't tempt me. There are very few games which have Jiggle Physics mods, which I will not download. If any of you have ever played Kenji, if you want to know what the very first mod that I ever downloaded for Kenji was, it was Jago Physics for the boobs. That served absolutely zero purpose, but I did it anyway. All right, let's let's get out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got it. Uh, swift drone. Believe it or not, it does in fact have enough pixels for boobs. You usually aren't zoomed in that far, but in the event that you are, you can definitely get. The, I mean, don't get me wrong. 
the player and uh, the character models in Kenchi are passable? Question mark. Don't get me wrong. It, it wasn't like a. It wasn't like a an erotic thing. It was a. Oh wow! I can't believe somebody was so horny that they put jiggle physics in Kenji. Like literally the last game in the world that needed them. So I felt like they deserved a download. All right, we got 26 salvage picks, which means we can take two mechs, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Okay, apparently I can't math. My apologies. Uh, the blackjack's gonna probably, well, no, the Jenner will be worth more money in this case because, uh, because apparently it's in more than, well, it's more complete than the other mechs. Uh, so let's see, battle max. We're gonna sell those off. Get rid of the Jenner. Get rid of the Jav. Chat, what do you think about the trend? We're, so, for those of you that are curious, we're, we're actually in the Treb's heyday right now. We're, we're in, like, 3020 right now. Which is a time period where the Treb was still relevant and useful. Uh, so my question is, is it even worth spending the money and the resources to repair it? Because I am leaning towards no. But what do you guys think? Uh, let's see, how much, how much do we get if we sell it? It doesn't say. We'll have to go to the mech market. Uh, if we sell the trab... Only 1.2 mil. I mean, it would probably cost us at least that much to put it back together, though. How much to put it back together? That's a good question. Let's, let's see. If I was gonna repair it... Oh, good god, no. Absolutely not. E even even with us not being in a conflict zone, it's going to cost us 5.2 mil. Get rid of that. No, sir. No, sir. We we are past the point of spending outrageous amounts of money to repair Max. I say before spending almost a million C bills to repair our Max. All right, uh, the Wolverine made it through relatively unscathed, so I'd say it's time for a paint job. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, you know what, right out the starting gate, I like it. Let's see how it looks on the Griffin. Uh, well, hard to tell with all the Scorch damage, but I think it works. I think it works. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. With the Treb, I feel like buying a brand new Treb would be cheaper than repairing the Treb that we had. So, we'll, we'll be alright. Uh -huh. 